Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ma'am, do you know what peace means? Sir, do you know the definition of peace? We will all be shocked to know that there is not one official definition of the word peace. Therefore, I have decided to give my own definition about this word using the definitions that I have found on the internet. Peace means no judging each other. Peace means listening. Peace means giving a helping hand to one another without thinking at the back of our minds, what do I get out of it? Peace means seeing the hurt in one's eyes. The first thing that we human beings need to acknowledge is that we are capable of doing things way beyond the boundaries that we create or erect for ourselves. Therefore, peace in the world does not necessarily have to stay something that is created within the mind. Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, these are all world icons who have proven that we don't necessarily need to kill, manipulate, or torture to get results. But during the passing of the years, we have fought so hard to gain wealth and power, only to choose hate over peace. It's a pity to see how we fill this world with so much hatred. Not ashamed of what we are becoming, we are now even promoting it on t-shirts. For my generation, it's getting much harder to choose between peace and hate. For who should we look up to when even religious leaders are showing symptoms of hate while promoting their religion? Judging each other. Saying, if you choose his God over mine, you will most certainly end up in hell. A lot of our world leaders are trying to confuse us by promoting peace in the world. While behind closed doors, they are paying and hiring people to create new weapons of mass destruction. So is peace something that we really want or is peace just something that we people are promoting? to hide behind the true war demons that we really are. We should not give up on fight. I mean fighting for peace, using nothing but words, love, and respect for each other. That is why the main mission of the GCI is to provide development opportunities opportunities that empower young people to create positive change. And I stand here in front of you asking you to grab these opportunities when handed to you by the GCI. For these opportunities do not only help a way for you to better yourself, but they also help you to identify with other bigger organizations promoting world peace and human rights, such as the UN. So I ask you, join us. For a single is a loner, but masses can pick, become victors. So we see that with great power comes great responsibility. The responsibility to choose between peace or hate we see peace starts with you. We see that to accomplish peace in the world, we need to work on the things which I had pointed out in my definition. World leaders, set aside your differences. Set aside your pride. For the pride you will gain where world peace is achieved will be much more greater and glorifying. GCIers, future GCIers, as Gandhi said, we must be the change we wish to see. So when given the opportunity to choose between peace or hate, 
I ask you, no, I beg you, please choose peace over hate. Choose peace over hate. Nogmaals applaus voor die Diego Nurse. En dat is de eerste deelnemer voor vanavond.